Today I will work on this beautiful BMW 7 Series F01. On this car I will replace the head-up display, because the original one don't work anymore. For this job I will need to remove the dashboard, the steering wheel, the center console, the trim pillar covers for the A pillars and after that I will call that unit. For this job I have a second hand unit that will be mounted on this car. I will start this job with the A pillar covers, with the blade, I will remove this airbag cap. This one. Next step with T25, I have a screw here. And now I can remove the cover. On this side is the same process. To remove the steering wheel, I need to remove the airbag first with the T20 screwdriver. I have a hole here. And now I can remove the airbag. With a 50mm socket, I remove the screw. This big one. I will unplug the steering and now I can remove the steering. With the steering wheel removed, I'm able to remove the covers for the steering wheel column. And now the lower part. Now I can remove the instrument cluster. I need to pull down these two tabs. Now I'm able to remove the plugs. Now I need to remove these parts from here this compartment, the footwell upper cover, these ornaments from here and next I will start to disassemble for removing the center console. Inside here I have some uh, plastic clips and one screw. I will continue with this part. To remove the center information display, I have two screws, one here and one there. They are with T20. Next, the climate control panel. This have two screws here. And this clips from here. After that, the CIC module.
I'll need to unplug the speaker for the Logic 7. This plug. Next, I will continue on this side. I will remove this piece from here, the footwell upper part, the glove box compartment. Next step, I have this screw. This screw, I have another one hidden here. These screws are for the dashboard assembly. Next step, I need to disconnect the passenger airbag. Like so. Next step, I will remove the gear selector. I have here in front two more screws that are holding in place the center console to the dashboard. Inside here I have one more screw, T30. From back here I have to remove two more screws, but one is missing. And the same on this side. And now I can remove this whole assembly. From inside here I have two more screws, T30. Next step, from behind here. I need to unclip two clips, one here, one there, something like that. Here it's loose. Okay. I need to Unplug everything from here. I need to unplug the USB socket and the aux in socket. I need to unplug the rear climate blower. And now I can pull back the center unrest. Something like that. I don't need to completely remove the center rest. Next step, I need to remove this part from here. And finally, I can remove this screw. This one. 
and this one and another one down here okay Now from this dashboard, almost all the screws are removed. There are two more hidden screws, one inside here and one there. This one from here. It. And another one here. And now, this moment I'm able to remove this dashboard nice now I will remove the old one and I will mount back the new AK second hand unit now I need to unplug the old unit like so here on the top I have two screws T30 and another one from behind and this one from here and now I can remove the old head-up display and uh, before I will mount back the new one I will clean a little bit uh, my working area my work environment And from this point, I will start the process to reassemble back this car. First, I will start with mounting back the new head-up display.
Now is the moment to put back the center console, but I cannot mount back the center console like this. And voila, there is a difference. And in this state, I'm able to mount this back. Thank <laughs> you. 
and this side is almost ready. I need to mount back the steering wheel, the trim pillar cover. I am almost there. I need to put back the steering wheel, the trim pillar covers, and after that, I need to cut up the head-up display and test it. And the physical work is done, now I need to do the software. First, I need to connect with the car. Okay, switch on the ignition. Open the hood, washer fluid low. I have 99 errors, this is a lucky number, I will erase them. This car have a problem with the battery and so on and I'm not interested in all of these errors.
Okay, let's see. Door handle, door handle, and power window, driver's door. No initialization, no problem. The head-up display don't have error now, but we'll have later because it's not coded. So I will code it now. F01, 101, okay. Okay. Head up display. Okay. It's green, that means it's perfect. Close, close connection. Go back. Now I will initialize this power window to get rid of this error. Driver door. Yes. Continue. Perfect, the selected power window have been initialized. Okay. And service function. Back, delete fault memories. Perfect. The only two errors are about the outside door handles. Okay, now. Let me see. It's working. Let me make a test. Yeah, it's working perfectly. The flickering that you see is not from the head up display, it's from the camera. In real life, that image is crystal clear. Nice. And finally, this car is repaired. Everything is working perfectly. The head-up display is working perfect. It's coded. Now the only thing that is remaining to do is to give back this car to its owner. Maybe in the future, if I will have time, I will disassemble the old unit to see if I will find something inside it, or maybe I'm able to repair it. Who knows? If you are still here, that means you like my work, you like what I'm doing, so don't forget to hit the like button to show me that. If you are not a subscriber and you want to see more things like this, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, thank you for being with me, and till next time, stay awesome. Bye now. <music>